Today I'm going to show you different lace up gloves and how to tie them. Hello and welcome to Fit to Box channel. I'm Coach Simon and here on Fit to Box channel I show you all things boxing equipment. Today I'm going to show you how to tie up lace up boxing gloves where there's different wrists on the boxing gloves. I'm going to start off and I'm going to show you what really is a bugbear of mine when I see coaches tying up gloves and how they do it wrong and then I'm going to show you how they should be using the wrists of these different types of boxing gloves to maximum effect to give the maximum support through the laces, through the wrist into that sort of support for the hand where they're punching. Okay so this is when I see a coach tying boxing gloves like this totally winds me up because on this particular glove which is obviously the Bryant boxing glove it's got the three sort of ridges at the back and then I see this and I can't believe that this is happening so let me just slide it in where you get a coach that ties the glove like this where they go like that and they go over the back just like that and they tie it almost like they're tying just a shoelace and there what they've done by doing that is they've robbed themselves of the support that they could be getting from the lace here and right up to the base of the back of the hand by tying it like that. That is completely wrong. So when you're tying gloves, the person that you're tying the gloves up for, they need to keep their glove right there. Okay, You don't want it moving around, going down or whatever, you need it right there. Then first thing you do is make sure that right from the top of the glove you are pulling the laces so you're getting nice and tight here to support the front of the glove and then this is the correct way to do it when you've got a glove like this a Mexican glove whereby you've got three pads there and you've also got the the uh, lines down there that you can track the laces down so that one goes across there like so uh, this one this one goes the onto that one there so they're going opposite pull and then you go to the top there to the top lump and then what you can do is you get to there and you'll, I'm going to tie this at the front but again as I turn the hand over get to there and then literally pull and then tie and then tie it I normally tie it in a double knot and then as you can see, as I turn that round, you've got support there, there and there. Tied at the front, some people like to tie it at the back. You can do either, dependent on the lace, lace length. But all I would do with that then is I would get some glove tape and go over that. But that is the best way to use that type of wrist with the three lumps. Okay, so now I'll show you how to tie when you've got a flat back of the wrist. So on these Donados it's got a flat back but also you find that on fight gloves as well. So let's just put those on. Again, slide in the hand like so. Keep that there, sort of on your own solar plexus. First of all, bring the laces down from there. Make sure that you are making it secure. And then pull. Again, just cross over there, turn them over. I always try and make a bit of a cross there. Then I pull it there. And then when you get to this point here, pull it for a second time and then actually tie it off. And again, once you've tied that off then, what you're doing is the laces are providing support here in the middle of the wrist as well as at the top. And as you can see there, that's the best way to do that type of cuff. So certain gloves have certain stitch lines for you to follow. So what I would say is follow the stitch lines. They give you a guide and also what happens is over time, if you do follow the stitch lines, they start to get embedded and it actually makes the glove look better and it feels better as well. Okay, as opposed to tying it in different places each time because you're... you're wreck the back of the wrist this way you're just making the grooves embedded in the leather and the padding so this fly super lace and just put that on there so again I have seen just pull these down 
but I have seen fly superlace tied where someone actually tied it right through the middle of the glove. So they tied it like, like there, like almost like that. Okay, and then, and then just tied it off. That's not the way to do it. You've got those lines there for a reason. So you may as well use them. Cross there to there. Looks good as well. There, give it a little pull over like so and then pull again and then you're at the back and then tie it again and now you've got a superb supportive wrist on the basis of those going across there and also that at the top okay so the winning gloves they've got a larger pad at the bottom with a smaller pad at the top again this is how you utilize those grooves and pads so slide on like so keep the glove there right on my solar plexus so it's not moving around if the person if your boxer is moving their hand around then you need to tell them to keep it there otherwise you're going to be chasing them around if they're like talking to somebody and they're moving their hand that's no good to you so you need to keep them in place and it'll be quicker that way as well like so and then across at the front pull it over the back so they both go down that first ridge you've got that famous rubber winning badge there give it a pull there so you can see how the glove comes in and then at the rear there again you can tie there I always find that the best place if you are tying at the rear of the glove is in that position there just there's the thumb and right there and then tie that up there as well I've tied that a couple of times and then I put glove tape over that but you can see support there support there and not just tied here and that's what it looks like from the front okay so once you've done that we always put glove tape on so the Empire glove tape is superb the reason I like it is because when you put it on it secures the actual laces and the wrist when you take it off it doesn't damage the gloves so all I normally do is do that across the top of the lace and then round and keep pressing it down as you're going round the wrist and then then I get to a point where I go there round once more and then I get to that point where I rip it off and then as you can see I've left a little lip there so when I want to pull it off so the boxer would then fight, do the sparring, whatever, and then when they're finished, you then pull that bit there to take it off more easily. And then you can take, you can take the tape off and then you can undo the glove. So I've just shown you there the four general wrists that you will find on most boxing gloves, from the three ridges to the flat wrist, to the ones where they've actually got some specific stitch lines that you can follow to your classic winning as well all of those can be utilized by using the laces to make the wrists more secure and more firm and if your trainer he isn't doing that then they're not helping you when it comes to your wrist support they're not fully utilizing the beauty of a lace-up glove if they're not doing them up correctly so i hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and i shall speak to you soon